there. Today we're going to be looking at one of the, the Samsung Galaxy Tabs. So I think this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. Uh, and that one came out quite a while ago. So if we look at this one, this one's still got um, its backing on. And it's got, this one has Wi-Fi. Um, well, if it says Wi-Fi on it, it must be the big thing at the time. And one, 16 gigabytes, so half as much as my iPad. Still pretty much enough. Um, my iPad, I often do a lot of stuff on it, so yeah. The good thing about this is that I think it has, um, so it's got, um, a camera on the front which is good and if not it might be bigger than my iPad so let's take a look at the camera first so I'm going to unlock the device first locks itself again there you go and it's unlocked so if I go to the home page so the screen re refresh rate isn't bad, the chip processor probably doesn't help with that. Um, it can do a lot of stuff in this. Um, Play Store can still be updated, YouTube you have to go to the web because the YouTube app doesn't work. Um, it's a rather thin iPad and it has a micro SD slot meaning you can get more storage out of it and um yeah you can uh, and it has a more a one of the older types of chargers and so in this it has some rather nice things so something on it is that i really like is it's got two speakers on both sides, rather than one side, meaning a more realistic um, double-sided audio, um, and also it can feel louder. Um, this um, has a microphone on it. I'm looking for any other microphones. Nope got one at the bottom and it does have screen rotation detection which is rather good um, the backgrounds can be animated so it has a rather good background although the Android's not the newest as um, the newest Android has like lots of, of new things this one has rather square things on the top and you see that animation there so if i go to settings i'll have a look at its android version so if i go uh about device maybe 4.2.2 so a rather old version and so it's basically the newest android is 12 so, yeah, um, so it's quite good, um, if I go to the camera, let's see, tap and hold shortcuts to edit them, hmm. so we can edit our shortcuts. So the frame per second isn't, is not the best, but we, the video quality isn't bad. Um, if I go and switch to a selfie camera, that one's not bad either. So we get some rather good. Um, also, we have, um, let's see, we can have the GPS tag, we have, we can have timers, and what can I change the resolution? No. That's 0.3 megavision, megapixels, and um, yeah. Um, 
if we look at it, we might, I think you can add effects. Yes, we can. So, if we go to effects, we can go black and white. So, this area is now black and white. And it looks like I'm looking through a baby cam or something. There's no sort of infrared. We have sepia, which, that, and negative. Basically inverting the colours. One thing I love doing on my normal iPad. So I set it back to no effect. Um, it's got those icons at the bottom of it, like we'd expect from modern Samsung devices. And to be honest, it's still usable today. It's not the best iPad to be using today, but if you want to, it works and can work with almost everyday things we do in the modern world. And that'll be it for this video. Bye!